Hello everyone. Hey, it's Andrew here with Sony, uh, Central Regional Product Specialist for the Custom Installation Channel. And today I'm here to take you through the installation of this incredible XW6000 projector. Now we're not actually going to be hanging it here today, but we're going to be actually looking at a tool that we've developed to help you determine exactly where this projector needs to hang on the ceiling how much vertical and horizontal shift, and of course, how much throw distance that you're going to have. So to take a look at that, let's jump over here and take a look at Sony Premium Home. Uh, Sony Premium Home is the website that we've developed uh, for all our, our CI channel, and this has all of our great products on it, but we're gonna take a look here at the projector tab. So when I click on projectors, I can just simply scroll down here and not only will it show me all of the projectors, but it will give me a direct access here to our projector simulator. So I can go ahead and click start here and agree to the terms and conditions. But my favorite thing to do on this is once you've been here uh, one time, you're gonna wanna go back here again. So make sure that you bookmark this page so you can instantly recall it whenever you need to figure out those throw distances and offsets. So starting off here, we have two different options. We can look at projection size, uh, screen image size, or projection distance. Uh, so if you have a set throw distance uh, and you wanna figure out how big of a screen we can go with, of course, that's where we're gonna to go to projection image size. Uh, but usually we're gonna look at it to figure out, hey, how much projection distance do I have for a set screen size? So we'll go ahead and click next, and it's gonna take us to our next screen where we can select either a floor or a ceiling installation. So ceiling being the most common, let's go ahead and uh, it's already selected, so we can go ahead and click start and get this rolling. So on this page, uh, this is our uh, really our kind of our most critical page here because this is gonna determine which projector we're using, screen sizes, and aspect ratios. So in the drop-down menu here, we can select actually any of our pro projectors or uh, consumer projectors going all the way up to our uh, GTZ 380 here with the BPL G series. And the video projector is where we're gonna find uh, this XW7000. And looky there, it's already right there at the top of the page. Uh, but I can select actually any projector that I need here. It is, this has all of the current Sony projector models, but we do also keep a number of the discontinued models in here for a period of time. So if you're redoing an installation, we can always go back and look at those older models. Uh, so we're gonna take our screen size. Uh, you know, we're usually gonna go with 16 by nine, uh, but you know, with the XW6000 and 7000 series, we do have picture position to do multiple aspect ratios. We'll talk a little bit more about how to figure out those multiple aspect ratios in a moment. Uh, so we're gonna enter in our screen aspect ratio that we're using. So we'll start with that uh, 16 by nine, and let's say let's go to 150 inch. Um, for all units of measurement, we can select either inches, meters, or feet. And for that uh, screen size, we can also start with diagonals, but we can go width and height. Uh, so if you do have a limitation of screen size, and again, we need to figure out where it can fit, uh, we, can, uh, we can work our screen size based upon diagonal width or height. And then projection image size, uh, also at 16 by nine. Uh, if you're doing a fixed screen, uh, this is usually going to remain the same. Uh, the only time we'd really wanna get into this here into using uh, different screen size and aspect ratios is when we are using some of those scope screens or motor or uh, you know really advanced screens that have variable aspect ratios. So for most most part though, your screen size and aspect ratio are going to remain the same. And then right here at the bottom, it gives us our screen size, 150 inches, uh, inches, meters, and feet. Also gives us our diagonal and uh, uh, diagonal width and height measurements. So. 131 by 74 is that 150 inch screen. So on this next screen, this is gonna give us our projection distance. Uh, so with the projector uh, going at 178 to 372 inches, the XW7000 has really a pretty massive range here for that 150 inch screen. I do wanna point out here also, it is important to select the appropriate unit of measurement. Uh, the default on this actually comes up as meters. So uh, inches, meters, or feet, make sure you are using the appropriate unit of measurement. 
And also if we're using one of our projectors that comes with multiple lens options, say the GTZ 380 or our professional uh, pro laser projectors, uh, we would actually have multiple uh, lens options listed out right here. But what if we want to figure out, okay, uh, we've got our throw distance, but how much horizontal or vertical offset do I have to work with? So let's go with uh, you know, what's really kind of a pretty common uh, situation here uh, is we can take in our ceiling to the top of the projected image. So say if I've got a room, a theater room with a pretty tall ceiling, uh, you know, say a 12 foot ceiling, and we're gonna have about a, uh, you know, got a pretty good amount of space up above that, uh, that screen. Uh, let's say we've got a total of about 36 inches above the, uh, from the top of the ceiling uh, or I'm sorry, the top of the projector to the ceiling. We can enter in that measurement and we're going to be able to figure out exactly how much drop we're going to need on the projector to be able to hit the screen. We're also going to be able to figure out any vertical shift if needed as well. So this will take us to our shift range simulation where we can again choose either the vertical position or the horizontal position. In most cases, we're gonna go with the horizontal position because this is gonna fix the projector at a, at a location on the screen. Hopefully it's the dead center of the screen so you have the maximum vertical shift. But you know, wherever the projector is gonna be, we are gonna calculate for the adjustable vertical shift range. So I'm gonna select the horizontal position and click next. Uh, from here, we can enter any horizontal shift. Now again, under ideal circumstances, the projector is going to be dead centered, so it would be zero inches of a horizontal shift. The reason this is important is any horizontal shift affects the amount of vertical shift that you have available. Uh, so under a standard condition here, I have a horizontal shift of 47 to minus 47 and a shift range of 10 to 135. And we'll talk about where this is important here on that next page. But say if my projector is 12 inches off center here, um, and oh, let's see, so 12 inches off center, uh, you would see my vertical shift range just changed to 26 to 119. So anytime we add any horizontal shift is going to affect your vertical shift range. So let's click next and let's see exactly where that comes into play. So that 10 to 135 number that we saw on the, uh, the previous page, this tells me the ceiling to the center of my lens needs to fall between 10 and 135 inches. So if I'm going to, uh, to have the, I can't have my projector all the way up against the ceiling, I'm going to need at least a 10 inch drop to bring the projector down off the ceiling. Now, how far is that ceiling to the center of the lens? We actually do give you all the very detailed dimensions right here to give you the distance between the top, the, the bottom side of the projector when it's, uh, or the top side when it's ceiling mounted here and the center of lens. So you can account for that. We also do make sure that we give you the lens distance and how much it sticks out. Some of the uh, projectors will adjust the lens. Uh, it will, will stick out more or less depending upon if you're using wider telephoto. Uh, so if we're really maxing it out, we do have these dimensions available to us as well. So the final step hitting next, we can actually print out this, uh, this document here. And when I print this out, I can now give it to my installers out in the field, uh, any of my architects, anybody who needs to help me out to make sure that I've got the projector mounting and appropriate installation. So I mentioned earlier that we were gonna be able to look at multiple aspect ratio screens. You know, we've got this great 150 inch 16 by nine image, but what if the customer says, you know what, hey, I watch a lot of movies and I wanna be able to watch my movies without those black bars on the top and the bottom of the screen. Well, this is a great place to use picture position. It's our ability to go back and forth between 16 by nine and scope aspect ratio screens without the need for an external lens. However, if you wanna go with an external lens, we can fully support those, uh, those features as well. So the easiest way to set this up is I've already plugged in all my dimensions here for my 16 by nine. I find the easiest way to do it is just quickly open up another window. And since we have projector simulator bookmarked here, I can go through and quickly pull it, enter in the dimensions. 
So we're going to do the, our, again our video projector, our XW7000. I'm going to change my aspect ratio to scope 235. And if you remember from that previous screen, the height of our image, which constant height is really the, what we look at for these scope screens, is 74 inches. So I'm going to enter in 74 for my image height. And then this way I will make sure that I'm doing the proper aspect ratio, the proper throw distance for both sizes. So I've got my 235, 235, my 74 inch high screen, which will be a, wow, that's gonna be a big screen, 189 inches uh, diagonal. We're gonna want all 3,200 lumens out of that, uh, that XW7000 to do this screen. So I will do the same thing here. I will go to my inches, meters, or feet. Uh, and I get a throw distance of 237 to 495. So the what you want to do when calculating again this projector set, the throw distance for multiple aspect ratios is you have to look at both the, the throw distance for 16 by 9 and the throw distance for 235 and make sure that they both work. So our minimum throw is going to be 237, and our maximum throw is going to be 372. That's what works for both the 150 inch 16 by nine and that 180 inch, 89 inch 235 scope screen. All right, hey, thanks everybody for, uh, for watching today. Hopefully you found this uh, video useful and it's gonna make your installations go faster and easier knowing how to properly spec in a Sony projector. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share and join us on the channel here for more content coming soon.